I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. Mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. So... Are we getting possessed? Or? Yes. The huh? About the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm. I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. I do. Anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now. It'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. What do I need to do? Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. How can you not be nervous here? Okay. It's like he's sitting inside the painting. Huh? Is that I'm seeing things? Did the painting just move? I know. Shut your Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. A now, wish for kind of what kind of wish do we think? What the? Super idol the show. Cắt go mấy cái chuyện vô. You haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Mm -hmm. Too perfect. <laughs> well, I was a mighty and powerful Dayoko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do. They can go and get it done. Trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands. Given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we are. Oh, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Hmm, not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior most to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. <laughs> Oh, 
And just like that. Disappeared. Are you awake? How are you feeling? Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Look at that. I'm it's a paycheck. <laughs> oh, well, there's no way out now. We're in too deep. Well, hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paycheck. So I will be performing a convocation ritual. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. Oh, I see. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh, yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the leyline memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time, I need you to do two things. First, tell the Shrine Maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. The so memories are nice. Lady Guji places great trust in you. Lady Guji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and... Good luck. Get back in time to see the yokai! Yo, is it? Yo, yo, who's that behind us? Yo, 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 yo. of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. Okay. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just, Hyman's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the moon. It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. <laughs>
they really have to go? It's a feast, and all feasts come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. In reverence, I perform this rite. In reverence, I perform this rite. To be a guiding light. Recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. Oh, oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this rite to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Really, I... Oh no, she's breaking. No. Honestly, you two. Oh no, it's fine. You want to listen? Rico! It's okay. Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. <laughs> sure, no problem. A meal it is! Yeah, it's a deal. Okay. Well, see you soon then. This is very distinct person. My little oh, there friend. She is. There you are. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest... Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Alrighty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's home, oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't yeah. you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Okay, fine. Nico, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! It's fine, but I want you to help. <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way. Since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. This is where it is. Right. That's it.